Hey guys, Katie here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, Alright, first thing I wanted to go ahead and go over is um, the 13 movie choices that I have for the... Sadie! Come here. Sadie. Sadie! Come here. Come here. Um... I'm posting this video first, but I did make um, a video that I'm going to post after this, but technically I made that one first where I introduced her, uh, but since I'm posting this one first, I'll reintroduce her. Um, this is Sadie. She's uh, a new addition to my room, but not to the house. She's been here since she was born. Um, she's just a new addition to my room because her sister um, in my mom's room just uh, had babies. Uh, not just, they're like two, close to three months old now, but they don't get along. So she's going to be, I think, a permanent addition now to my room. So, but this is Sadie. So, um, but yeah. Anyways, um, I wanted to go ahead and go over the 13 movie picks for the 13 days of Halloween that I'm going to do um, for next month. Probably technically now uh, it already is October 1st. So, um but I have them written down. I don't have them all in front of me except for, I think, one. So um, I'm just going to go over the titles with you. Um, but I have them written down. And I don't know if I've ever showed off this notebook to you guys or not. But I got my Cheshire notebook right here. Um, so, and Sadie's only about one year old. So she's very, she's just maybe a couple of weeks or a month over a, a year old and I got these cute little I left it on the cardboard so she can kick and rip the crap out of the cardboard too but these cute little uh, Halloween cat toys from Walmart so I'm just gonna hopefully distract her with that um, but uh, from the YouTube from the video my last video that I made um, it was like a tie, actually, because I just had a, a new subscriber who left a comment uh, picking demons. Um, so it was like a tie. I got four votes for haunts and four votes for demons. So I'm going to do both of those. And then um, three votes for They Live. So I'm going to do They Live as well. And then it was a tie between Terrifier, um, The Dentist, and Mad God. And I'm going to go with uh, The Dentist. And then um, also I didn't have time or I completely forgot to post uh, to get a fifth or the last suggestion. Like I said in my last video that I was going to try to get the last one on uh, Instagram. Forgot to do that. So I'm just going to pick uh, Mad God as the, as the final one. Um... And then I picked four and Joe picked four. Um, for Joe's four, get the toy, not me. Get the toy. Yes, get the toy. Uh, he picked the stuff, uh, Phantasm 2, The Howling, and uh, Night of the Comet. And then I picked uh, the original, The Blob, um, Dracula, um, I'm not sure the exact year, but the Anthony Hopkins, I think Keanu Reeves and um, Winona Ryder one, and then um, the original 1930s, I believe, Frankenstein, and um, the one that I have in front of me, which I just got on Wednesday, which I'm so excited about, Get Your Toy, is a uh, smile. Sadie, please. She's too much. You are too much. You have too much energy, little one. Youngin'. Uh, but it is loose in there. They only have two copies left at my Best Buy, and they were both loose in there. But this is a 4K disc again, so I'm sure it's fine. I'm not going to open it until I actually watch it, which this might be my first watch. I'm not sure which order I'm actually going to watch them in, but I just know... And I don't know if I'm going to do it um, 
like skip a day or if I'm going to watch multiple ones in one day or if I'm going to do just one movie each day up until Friday the 13th since we do have a Friday the 13th this October which is really exciting um but anyways um Sadie <sighs> sorry I it's going back to the old days where I picked the worst time to start filming when the cats are the most active because she was sleeping just a few minutes ago, and then, of course, it's probably because I'm moving around. <laughs> Look at this. God. Get your toy. Get the toy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, my God. But anyways, yeah, smile is the back of it. I'll probably do, if I can remember to, I'll try to do an unboxing before I actually plug this in and then put this in with the review too. Um, yeah, you better be careful for Jigsaw. She don't play around. Anyways. Um, so yeah, those are my picks. Um, whenever, right after I watch the movie, I'll go ahead and... Um, do a review the best that I can. Um, I've only... Sadie? Sadie. Come here. I've only done a couple of reviews on my channel, so I am definitely not the greatest. And that was over over a year ago, year and a half ago, when I did those. And um, So they'll probably be even worse, but I'm going to give it my best shot. But I really do want to try to stay committed to this because I said I was going to do it. So I really want to keep to my word. Um, so there's that. And then, um, Miranda, I am so sorry. I still have not gotten your package out yet. Um, I was going to on Friday, but this week has been a very, very messed up week actually for me. Um, I got into a car accident, my first ever, and um, I found out today that our car also got broken into right outside our house. So I have, I have had a very, very messed up, fucked up week on top of everything else that already happened that I go through with stuff that I talked about in that one video. If you got, really? That I talked about in that one video in September with a lot of stuff that I were already dealing with. Um, so yeah, this just has not, it's just added to so much more stress, so much more anxiety and everything else that I am, I am really freaked out. I do not feel safe now, even being here at home, just knowing that someone broke into our car and violated that privacy. They, the only thing that was stolen too, which is a good thing, but it's also very weird and concerning and everything is just, someone just stole some change from our, um, console and, and a lighter. I mean, we didn't really have anything super valuable in the car, just, just a couple pairs of shoes. And ironically, I actually had your package, Miranda, in the back seat with the movies in it. And they didn't take it. They didn't take any of that. They didn't try to pop our trunk because we had some clothes and some more shoes and stuff like that back there in a, um... The uh, battery charger thing in case we broke down on our trip to Vegas. We had that still in our trunk and everything. None of that was gone. So I, I don't know what the hell that is. But it's still just the fact that someone else was in your car. A complete stranger. You don't know who it was. Is, is very violating and uncomfortable and very uneasy uneasy feeling and the fact that it happened right outside our front door and we didn't hear it no alarm went off so I don't know if I may have forgotten to actually lock the car or what either but no me and my mom neither one of us heard the alarm going off so it's just oh and then like I said my my very very first accident happened on Wednesday too and luckily, no one was hurt or anything, and it's it's just really cosmetic damage that was done to the car. It wasn't totaled or anything like that, but 
I was dropping Joe off in front of the grocery store um, so he can go to the ATM on Wednesday and grab out some money. And as I was just, you know, I was just idling or whatever right there at the front of the store to let him out. I wasn't in park. I wasn't going to park there. I was just letting him get out of the car. And this truck backed up into the back side of the driver's side. And I saw him backing up, but I didn't realize that he didn't see me and that he wasn't stopping. I was, it was like within two seconds that I noticed that he wasn't stopping. So I started blaring on the horn and it was already too late and he already hit us. So, and, and I was left to just deal with it by myself. I didn't know what to do. I've never been in an accident before in my life. I was trying to call my mom and figure out what I needed to do. And all the guy did was just have me take a picture of his insurance information. And, and that was it. And then he left. So no cops were called. Because like I said, no one was hurt. There was no damage done to his truck. Because he was driving a truck. And we had just our car. But um, there's an indentation. You can clearly see where he hit us. But like I said, it was just... It's just cosmetic. It's not anything. It was, didn't make the car undrivable. It didn't, nothing like that. So, but it's still very scary and traumatic to, to have that happen after almost 20 years of driving, never being in an accident in my life and to just boom out of nowhere. It happens. It's such an innocent type thing you know you're just i just was letting joe out to go to the atm and to have someone just back up into you can you please <sighs> anyways i don't know if she changed a setting or anything i don't because a little sun popped up at the bottom of my thing i hope not nothing really looks different to me so I hope she didn't change anything. Um, but anyways, yeah, sorry. I just needed to get all of that out because, I mean, that is two very severely scary, stressful, anxiety-inducing situations to happen so close together that I feel like I'm being targeted by, like, bad luck. And I feel like it's not over. It's only getting started. Like, I just, I just feel like when it pours, it rains, or when it rains, it pours, uh, how, whatever that saying is. So I feel like there's more going to be coming. Like, this is not over, not to be all dramatic or whatever, but it's just, it's kind of true. You know, that's why these sayings are invented, you know, like it is true. So I just, you know. I just have a feeling I don't know what else is going to happen, but I am, I am scared now because I think what's going to happen next? Are they going to break into the house or is, is something worse going to happen to the car? Because so far everything's been related to the car. So, you know, it's just, so now I'm even, I'm even scared to just drive it all now thinking, you know, someone's going to hold me up at gunpoint or something like that and steal the car. Or someone's just going to full-on break the window and steal the whole damn car. I mean, seriously, 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 knock on fucking wood. That is like my one superstition that I have out of everything. I'm not scared, of course, of black cat cats. I love black cats. I'm not Friday the 13th superstition. I'm not the whole walking under a ladder or whatever that one is. I'm not none of but the knock on wood thing. Like, I will literally, when I think of something in my head when I'm driving or when I'm doing anything, I will do knock on wood, like, almost constantly in my head for, it does, it's not a specific number or anything, it's just until I feel comfortable enough that I've said it enough times that I'm not, like, jinxing myself or making it come into fruition or whatever. So, but... Sorry, I just, I needed to, to get that out. And, and honestly, too, I really, I have, like, no one to talk to. I don't, I'm not close with any of my friends, really, anymore. I only have, like, three actual friends left, but we barely ever talk. Like, it's, it's maybe once, 
or twice a year, if even that. And other than that, I have just Joe, which, you know, and then my mom I have to talk to, but, you know, so, uh, I... I just, I feel alone a lot, I guess. And that's why I guess maybe I go on these rants or whatever you want to call them. Why I'm open more with this kind of personal stuff on here. Because I just, I need an outlet. I have, I have no one to talk to. And as pathetic as it sounds, it's true. And, um... Yeah, so instead of just holding everything inside, I'll just talk to myself in the camera and get it out, I guess. I don't know. But anyways, um, so now that that part's over with, um, I did also want to go ahead and share the rest of what I've gotten. Some, not all of it, because I don't want this to be... Because the other video that I made that I'm going to upload, I don't know when I'll upload it. I might upload it right after I upload this one, um, but within the next day or so, too. Um, but that one was like an hour and a half long, because... I know, I make long-ass videos. <laughs> Sorry about that, but that's just how it goes with me, because I've got all this personal shit I'm talking about, too, that just ends up coming out in these videos, and sorry if that's annoying, but that's just, I guess, how it goes, especially right now. I know before in my other videos, it used to just be, here's the movie and stuff, but not really going that way right now, because I just got so much shit going on in here and in here that I just, I can't, I just need an outlet to get it out, I guess. But uh, let me show you what else I got um, that we picked up on Wednesday. Um, I went ahead and was able to get the Halloween H2O. Um, yeah, 4K uh, 25th Anniversary Edition Steelbook. This, this one is the one that I grew up on. I don't remember for sure or not if I actually did see it. Excuse you so much. Not everything is Sadie's. No, I don't think so. This is mine. Um, the one that I actually grew up watching. So this is my Halloween movie out of all of them because Josh Hartnett, of course, he was my heartthrob. One of the heartthrobs from when I was when I was younger. So I uh, had to, really wanted to make sure I got this one. And it is just, it is freaking gorgeous too I mean like I said there's there was a lot coming out this month next month and even in November too and probably in December just probably all the time now is just these fucking damn steel books and I am so drawn to them they are just so beautiful and anyways so got that one and then I actually, I really want to get a tattoo specifically from this movie that I, if I remember, because it's been actually, it's honestly been a while since I've seen it, but if I remember correctly, maybe not actually, I don't remember now. <sighs> Anyways, there's a tattoo idea that I had about this movie, but this is, again, one of my favorite movies, and that is Natural Born Killers, and I got the beautiful steelbook. But, uh, again, I can't remember. I feel stupid. But, uh, Murder Me Mickey tattoo. I wanted to get that. Because I think one of the girls, one of the fangirls, whatever, from has that tattoo in this movie. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. Or maybe that's just with an idea of my own. I, I cannot remember. And now that's really bugging the crap out of me. That I can't remember for sure or not. But, uh, but then I thought, wouldn't it be funny, though, if someone was crazy and his name was Mickey and, like, I was wearing, like, a tank top or, because I kind of thought of having it, like, right here on my shoulder. Because, again, if 
I'm not mistaken, it's a girl in the movie who has it, like, right here on her shoulder or something. And then I was just thinking, you know, so wearing a tank top or whatever, and there's a crazy person who saw me have that tattoo, and his name happened to be Mickey or Mikey or something like that, um, and just went ahead and killed me because my tattoo told him to. Like, here in the real world, you know, like, that's the kind of stuff I think about. So that's why I was thinking, so instead of just having it say, murder me, Mickey, I would have to put natural born killers, you know, and have it be in quotes and then put natural born killers underneath it. So that way it would be an actual quote from here and not like a direction, um, directions for someone to take seriously. Like, see how I... <laughs> I think weird things in my mind of stuff and how pe other people might think of it. But I love this fucking movie so goddamn much. Again, crazy people for being crazy people. I love it. And then um, got the Fall Steelbook. And um, no, I have not seen this one. Um, but I love, of course, everybody loves the Lionsgate Steel books. Who can blame them? Um, they're fucking amazing. But this one right here, I never saw a preview for it until just like, I think a couple weeks ago, I saw little snip, snip bits on, um, YouTube, which honestly really kind of pissed me off because I never wanted to know what this was about. I wanted to be completely surprised. I mean, I figured by the name of it, you know, they were falling off of something, but, I mean, I was thinking it was going to be, like, off of, from rock climbing or whatever, not, I won't say anything, but, I mean, you can kind of, you know, so. But, uh, I love movies like this. They're Bible-type things and endurance-type movies and all that kind of stuff. And just like with that, with Smile, I don't think I've ever even seen a preview for smile because I just I enjoy being thoroughly surprised by what a movie is about nowadays. I really do not like seeing trailers. It used to be my favorite fucking part of a movie, but nowadays I just think they give so much away in the trailer. Of course, because they want to draw you in so you want to see the movie. But to me that just doesn't make it as fun. So I thoroughly want to be enjoyed just like with joker and um was it birds of prey or the suicide squad or maybe both of them i refused to watch any trailers for any of them i was so excited when they got announced but there was no way i was gonna let anybody ruin that for me so refused to watch any trailers um anyways and then the last one that i got was uh infinity pool steelbook And this is, uh, yeah, on cut. And I could have swore this was like an A24 film. But I don't see them anywhere on the back. I don't know why I thought this was an A24 film. But it's like a neon. Is that what that says? Neon, yeah. But I so could have swore that this was an A24 film. I don't know why. And then the most disappointing thing ever, because I could not pre-order it, and it came out on the wrong weekend, I did not get the Exorcist Steelbook. And it is fucking sold out. It is gone. It is fucking gone. Everything else. Like, um, these two came out a week uh, like last week on Tuesday, these two came out and they still have these. And then these came out on Tuesday, but they were still there on Wednesday. And I'm not sure when this one came out. Cause I didn't even know Best Buy had this steel book. I thought this was a Walmart exclusive steel book, but Best Buy had it. But no, Exorcist gone. The day that it came out gone. And so fuck me right so i don't know what the hell to do about that because of course you know the way it goes 
bunch of people probably bought it and are selling it for like double or triple the price on eBay. And uh, so I think I'm just... Because it's not about it being 4K. That's not what my thing is with buying these steelbooks. It's the fact that it's a steelbook. That's that's all I care about is the art on it. Not Honestly, not the fact that it's a 4K. Because, to be honest with you, I think I've only really watched one or two 4Ks since I got my 4K TV and my 4K uh, player. Um, but I wear contacts and glasses and... I know I don't have the best sight, like I just got my eyes checked like a little over a month or two ago whenever I had to wear glasses I told you guys I got my eyes dilated and stuff. Um, but I just, I don't, I cannot tell a difference. Like it could be because maybe I don't have the greatest player because I don't have the greatest TV, I don't know, but between DVD to Blu-ray. To the 4Ks that I've watched, I do not see any difference. So I, I don't know, but it has nothing to do with these being 4K on why I'm buying these. It's because they're steelbooks, and I'm so late to the game that these are first-time buys. Like I'm not double dipping on any of these. You know, like I don't. These are just because I've never had them before, again, because I'm late to the game. And, of course, what do new releases are? What are they? They're 4K now. So even if these were DVD steel books, I would buy them. I have some DVD steel books. I want to get all of the DVD steel books because that's just, they're steel books, you know? And only, I would only want to double dip on, like, the Tim Burton ones or on, like, certain ones that I absolutely love like a true lies one which I don't know can you excuse me can you excuse me um like true lies or Titanic or John Wick or um <sighs> or like terrifier or something like that if you know stuff like that I would double, triple, whatever dip. And like I said, any Tim Burton, I think I already said that. Um, but yeah, anyways, I don't know where I was going with that, but, um, I really like the way the 4k one looks, but I also like the way the Blu-ray one looks of the exorcist. Cause that would probably be one that I would be willing to double dip on. But, um, I think since the 4k just came out, there's a chance that the Blu-ray one, might be a little bit cheaper, so that might be the one that I go with. Maybe, because there's still a shitload more new coming out. Because, you guys, um, okay, I'll just, uh, maybe, maybe not. I think it's the very bottom up here. That yeah, right there. Alright, sorry, I'm just doing this to, if I can, that is, there we go. So I showed this off in the other video that I already made, I just haven't posted it yet, but I also picked up the, uh, this is from last, last month, whenever this came out, I don't, I pre-ordered this one, but I got the Rob Zombie Halloween 1 and 2 steelbook from um Walmart so I got these Halloweens and then I got this Halloween and then I got three other Halloween steelbooks and so of course what else do I want I do want to go ahead and get that three pack three the trilogy set the 2019 and then ends and kills um, because I already have one copy of 2018, I have that one on Steelbook, but I don't have End or Kills on Steelbook. So, but that set is really nice looking. But I know it's going to be sold out because for these five Steelbooks, watch out please, come here. For these five Steelbooks, was a ridiculous amount of money. 
and um, that set for those three is like $78. And so there's no way I'm going to have to wait until the end of October to be able to try to get that set. But I think it comes out like on the 10th. And so I'm not going to be able to get that set because, again, it's going to be, I'm sure, exactly like The Exorcist. It is going to be gone the day that it comes out. Sadie. Can we please? Please? Can we just, like, can we sit? Can we stop getting in my way, please? Um... But, I mean, they do each have their own standalone release. And they're not bad-looking steelbooks or anything. It's just, I love the way that set looks. You know, I only have, like, two box sets of, uh, two steelbook box sets. But that one would just be so beautiful. Because it even would go along really nicely with this one because of the leaves and everything. So, but, anyways. So, that just... That pisses me off so bad. <sighs> but, I mean, steelbooks are meant to be a collector's piece, and it can't really be a collector's piece if it's mass-produced or whatever. I don't know. Anyways. Okay. So. There was that. Sadie. Sorry, she is just. <sighs> She's a baby baby, so. Anyways. Um. Also from Walmart, so now I'm going to get away from movies right quick, but this is all still movie related, of course. Um, from Walmart, in case you guys haven't seen or didn't know, they do have some new shirts that are not just the standard Jason, Freddie, and Michael. Um, they actually have a Pennywise shirt this time. And love it. I don't know if I actually have any Pennywise uh, clothing or not, but um, definitely very fucking happy to have this. Um, they do have, of course, a phrase, uh, a phrase in, what the hell, a Freddy, a Jason, um, I don't, a Michael, yeah, no, they do have Michael. Um, they also have a Nightmare Before Christmas, of course, and they have, um, I don't know if they have a new Chucky or a new Scream or if those ones are recycled from ones they've had in the past. Um, but, and then I also believe that they do have an Exorcist one. Um, but that one I haven't seen yet because I definitely want to grab that one too. So, this is awesome. It was, this one is $8.89. Or $8.98. God, I hate when I do that. Sorry. So there's that, and then did I get anything else from freaking Walmart, or was that it? I think that was it from Walmart this time around. I got some more stuff from Five Below that I'm going to share, um, but right quick, um, the other video, I'm not going to edit it out or anything, but um, I did mention that the past few years, I have been getting... My Nightmare Before Christmas blankets um, from there. And you need to move, Sadie. Um, I think I posted about it last year and probably the year before. I can't remember for sure or not. Yeah, you get that fly wherever the fuck it went. I'm tired of these flies. I can't wait for winter. Um... Anyways, I had said that they had not put out any blankets because they usually put it out. That's like one of the first things my Walgreens here have always put those out like very first thing, like at the very tail end of August. But they didn't do that this year. And so I said in that last video uh, or the other video, like what the hell? I don't know what the fuck is going on if they're just not putting them out this year or what. Um, but there's a specific reason why I like these blankets. It's because they're... They're basically like twin sized comforters, but they're a plush blanket. They're like a throw plush blanket, but they're tween, tween, twin, 
Oh, hold on a second, guys. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Uh, cat fight happening. Out in the living room area, or hallway, I mean. Um, no idea who it was, because, of course, they all scattered as soon as I opened my door. So, but anyways, um, I think the last thing I was saying is that, um, for the last, uh, four to five years or whatever, I've been getting, um, these blankets from Walgreens are, like I said, twin comforter size blankets, but they're plush throw size. Um, and they didn't put them out at the same time they have every other year, but for some reason this year they waited a long time. But I had seen on, um, Instagram or eBay or whatever, um, that there were some that said 30th anniversary and I was like, okay, what is going on here? Because 30th anniversary is this year. Like, that's why they're playing the 30th anniversary um, of Nightmare Before Christmas in theaters. Um, technically now this month, because like I said, I'm pretty sure it's after midnight already. So it's technically October 1st. Um, and so it's like, those have to be from this year. So, um... I think it was yesterday or whatever whenever I was out um I was like I'm gonna go ahead and stop by Walgreens just in case because maybe for some reason they just put them out late or something I don't know and sure as hell that's exactly what it was so um this is the new blanket that I got I'm trying to get the glare out so you can see the actual picture but as I stated in the other video, the reason why I like 60 by 90. So, and you can see, like, this is a twin bed and it covers it all the way. So that's why I specifically love these blankets. There is another design. I forgot to take pictures. Um, but if you look up, you know, these blankets online, you'll see what the other design is. I think it is um, more black background and it's got Jack with the uh, Boogie Boys. So, uh, that is what the other design is. They usually only have two per year, uh, for Halloween. And then, like, the last year or two so, I think they've actually put out some Christmas ones around Christmas time, too. Um, so, but, so excited to find another new blanket. So, wanted to show that off and share with you guys, too, that if you want one of these blankets, if you were looking for one and didn't see them, um... It looks like they just put them out late this year or something, and I'm just, I'm just putting it in this five below bag right now just to keep it protected for right now. But I got that, uh, it is, tw it was $29.99, $29.99. So I'm surprised they didn't go up because they used to only be $20, and then, um, like two years ago it went up to $25.99. And then last year, they went up to $29.99. And then this year, I thought they were going to go up another $5 and be $34 or $35.99 or whatever. But no, they stayed at $29.99. So, $30 for those. And then, um, the other thing that I found that I had to grab is, a uh, Dracula. Because it's fucking Dracula. I, am um, and forever will be vampire crazed like right here support vampires i don't know how well if you can i think there's too much glare but that's what that says um and this is from the universal monsters so i would love to get them all of course but all they had there was uh this one um and then they had a couple of stranger things ones but i've only seen the first season of stranger things i have not seen any other ones because I do not have Netflix and I've never been able to find uh the second um series over at uh I think Target's the only one who carries it uh never been able to find that on physical anytime I've ever looked I mean it's been a couple of years I think or a year or two whatever since I've looked but they they never had it whenever I looked um and then the last thing uh he was uh $12.99 <clears throat> I believe. And then the last thing from Walgreens is I got uh the mare little uh fake succulent um 
and he does have both faces. He's so adorable. So he's very tiny too. You know, as you can see, he was only $4.99. Uh, they did have some bigger ones there and stuff, but um, last year, I don't know if I ever showed him off or not, but I got the the little toy duck um, that is given out as one of the Christmas toys. Um, I got him, I think he was probably around 8 to $12, but um, he actually has black um, little succulent ones, but this one actually has green. So, but like I said, this one was just the cutest one that I saw, and he was only $4.95 and like uh, $4.99, whatever, and since he had both sides, I was just like, that is too fucking cute. So, got that, and then, um, I think everything else might be from Five Below. If not, I'll let you know. Um, got... A couple of years ago, I found a few of these that were actually in coffins, and then um, found a couple that were like this, and I can't, I couldn't remember if I had the mare or not, um, so I just got him, just in case. So, and uh, again, if you can see on the side, he does have his other face too, and again, these are not going to be candies that I actually open or anything, these are collectibles to me. Um, because they're just, they're just fucking cool, man. So, what can I say? So, got that. And then, I have been wanting some beanies and some, like, hair stuff, whatever the fuck. Um, and found this for, uh, five bucks. I think it was, like, four ninety nine or something. And it does have the little... I don't know what exactly this is for, but it has that in there, so. But, I've kind of never really been much of a beanie person, but I want to start being. So, it's just, I think I have kind of a, a weird shaped head, or something, or I'm just not, I just don't know how to do it right. I don't know, kind of, I don't know if that, does it look right, does it look okay, do I look okay with the beanie on, what do you guys think, I don't know, but got that, and then I found this awesome Pennywise, um, It Chapter 2 vinyl figure, uh, from someplace. I don't know which company this is from. What is it? Oh, Culture Fly. There's what he looks like, I guess, out. And I think these were are like 4.5, I think is what the receipt classified these as. Like size-wise, like 4.5. But yeah, I just thought that was that was really cute. You know what I mean when I say that. Not cute, but and then I found these two. Uh if you guys remember from um of course, it was around this time, but it was in, um, I got a bunch of snow globes, uh, horse snow globes and stuff, and I happened to see these there. Um, there's Annabelle. With the red glitter. And then also... The Nun. So I thought these 
here is kind of all the ones that they have in this series. So what it looks like, yeah, I kind of don't really want to open them right yet. Sorry, these are not, kind of just been sitting over here right now. Um, so they're not the cleanest. But, uh, like how my Freddy one is here, how he's like a full head. You know, like from a, like a full head like this. Them, I think they're just like a, like a slim little picture of them is how it is it's not like a like a full sized head if that if, if you get what i mean so but uh there's the back with all the names if you couldn't tell from all the pictures of what's all in here in this series i mean not in the snow globe but what other ones you could get but these were the only two that i saw that they had so if they would have had some of these other ones like of course the exorcist um, or the Pennywise one, I would have got on because I already have, um, a Friday and a Nightmare one, um, but definitely would have liked to grab the, the Pennywise and the Exorcist, so, but got those, these were five, all of this was five dollars, except for one, one thing, what was it? Oh, this was four dollars. This one was four dollars. Everything else was five. Um, and then of course, most excited about these two right here, and you will know why. Bam! Chucky and Tiffany. Fucking love it. These are also yeah. These are culture fly ones as well. But I was so ecstatic when I saw these two. Because it's fucking Chucky and Tiffany. So fucking love them. But yeah, these are just two fucking awesome. I love them so much. So, got those two. And again, I think these are four, like size-wise... I think it said 4.5 on the receipt too. So I think they're the same size. But of course the Chucky and Tiffany are bigger uh, width. I guess width wise. But I think they're the same like height wise or whatever. So I don't know. So I got those. And then I think this is the last thing. And... I got this adorable black and white skeleton kitty pillow for five bucks. They had some other, they had like a bat one that was really cute too. But of course, this is the one I went with. I almost did go with the bat, but I was, Joe was like, no, I'll go with the kitty one. So I'm happy I went with the kitty one because the bat one was a little bit smaller than this one too. But like I said, it was just, it was really cute. But no, this is definitely more more me so very very adorable so and it's just on the one side the other side is just plain black but I got that and I think that is everything because I showed the other things in here off in the other video I think that's everything for this video um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, also for that video, um, I forgot to thank Pam as well, um, uh, because I got a package from her, um, and I forgot to thank her in the video. So thank you so, so much, Pam. Uh, thank you again, Miranda and Tony. And, um, I am going to leave their information, I'll leave the, I'll leave their information for their, um, God, YouTube channel and everything in this description box, but I'll also leave it in the description box of that video as well. I just, 
I forgot to say all of that in that video. I was just, like I said, I'm, I'm still kind of new to coming back. So I get a little ahead of myself and forget things that are just so obvious. So hopefully you guys will know to just look down and that obviously, of course, thank you to everybody, to Pam and to Miranda and to Tony for all the shout outs and everything like that. Um, but yeah, I will leave all of their information both on this video and on that video, which like I said, well, I will either upload right after this one or I'll just wait a day or two and then upload that one. Um, and then, um, yeah, I'm going to start start working on watching these movies and giving you guys the reviews for them, which like I said, you know, they're probably going to be shitty, but I'll try my best. And then, um, I have some, I did another huge ass haul from over at Ralph's, so I will have that to share. And then also Miranda, again, I will get your package sent off to you as soon as possible, which should be just as soon as I can next week. Um, and I'm so sorry again for the delay on that. It's just drama, drama, drama going on right now. And I really do apologize about that. And thank you for your patience with me and everything. And again, thank you so, so much, Pam, Video Game Movie Dome. Um, I still have so much more from the past year to show off, uh, from what I got from her and everything too. And, um, just lots of stuff to come. So, okay, guys, I, I need to quit while I'm ahead because I, I don't know what else to say. This is all that I've got. I hope you guys like the video. Um, let me know what you guys think. Did you guys get any of the new steelbooks that came out this month? Um, have you guys found any cool stuff at Five Below or, or at Walmart or whatever for collectible-wise stuff? Um, are you guys going to be doing anything? Uh, for your guys' channel for, you know, Halloween and everything. And so on and so forth. Just let me know what's up down below. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Alright, bye guys.